Right, how to hand in work. Two different options. So here's my classroom for whatever subject that might be. Um, here's the work, but I can actually click on classwork. Now when I'm in there, here it is, work to complete. When I click on that, I can see my assignment. If I actually view the assignment, there might be some instructions here or some directions to what I need to do. Now over on the right hand side, here's my options as to how I hand things in. Now option one is, I click on that document, it opens it up, I can answer the question, okay, and then I can turn it in. That's the vital bit, to click turn it in. And it will come back here and it will say, do I want to hand this in? Yes, I do. Hand it in. Okay, that has handed it in. Now, alternatively, I just clicked on submit, so I've not handed it in. I could add something. So let's say you've done it in your book and you've taken a picture of it or you've done it on a Google slide or whatever it might be. You could add on here and you could add a, a Google Doc or a Google slide, but you could also add a file. If I click file there, it opens up to drag something in. So if I go to my pictures and just click on there and go to pictures, I've done a piece of work. I'm going to drag it in and drop it in. Upload. There it is. So not only have I got the first one that I've done, I can even add a picture. And then I click, and here's a crucial bit again, hand in. Do I want to hand these two pieces of work in? Yes, I do. Now, a teacher might post a comment. They might give some advice on a piece of work, and you'll get your comments on this right-hand side, which might say, you need to look at your spellings, or could you add a bit more detail to question four, or this isn't quite complete. And then you can either write back or you can go in and you can resubmit the work. And it will also give you your points total up here. That's how to hand in work on Google Classrooms. Hope that's helpful.